This is BBC News and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. I'm Anita McVeigh in Glasgow where negotiators at the COP26 climate conference have published a draft agreement after talks continued through the night. Countries are urged to phase out coal and inefficient fossil fuel subsidies and show plans to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 2022. And I'm Lakshmi Gopal in London with the rest of your headlines. Hundreds of migrants remain trapped along the border between Belarus and Poland, caught up in the middle of a political standoff. The conservatorship of Britney Spears has been terminated. And the conservatorship that's controlled Britney Spears' life for 13 years has been brought to an end. Hello and welcome to Glasgow. It is a beautiful day here. I'm not sure the negotiators for COP26, the climate change conference, have had much time to admire that, though, because they are now in overtime. Delegates from nearly 200 countries trying to strike a deal on tackling climate change and working through the night to try to do that. A new draft agreement has been published uh, today. Let's bring you some of the main points of that. Very crucially, the reference to phasing out uh, inefficient fossil fuel subsidies is still there, still in the draft agreement, even after some co countries reportedly wanted to remove it. And a reminder, of course, that this is a draft. The deal hasn't been done yet. The deal also asks all countries to upgrade their climate pledges next year. And rich countries are asked to double their climate adaptation finance by 2025 from 2019 levels. So let's take stock of where we are. And I should just say we're waiting for a plenary to start over in uh, the conference hall. Now, what that means in practice is that delegates from the almost 200 countries, they come, they give us an update on where they, where they are at with this draft agreement. Are they supporting it? Are there some issues they still want to see sorted out? So that should give us a really good idea of the direction of travel and, and whether we are actually close to this deal being signed off. The seats are um, pretty empty in the conference hall at the moment, but we do expect that to start filling up quite soon. Well, our science and environment correspondent, Victoria Gill, is with me, as she has been uh, throughout all of this, Victoria, for which I am extremely thankful. <laughs> um, so you've had more time now to look through this draft as well. Let's talk about finance, first of all, because um, there are two lots of finance to talk about. Mm. There's the finance going forward, yeah. dealing with adapting to climate change. There's the finance that talks about compensating mm. countries for what's already happened to them. But the text on that, the detail on that seems to be effectively missing. And there are a lot of complaints, aren't there, about that today?